Moving into our community now, it is a sad reality for homeless people and the less fortunate here in Reno. Many don't know where they'll get their next meal. Yeah, that's right. So volunteers are making sure that they have something to eat tonight at this year's Feed the Hungry Feast. That's where we find Amanda Ketchledge now live at the Downtown Reno Event Center. So Amanda, what's going on down there now? Well, a lot of people are grabbing a bite to eat as we speak right now. You can see behind me that they're filling up their plates with delicious food. They have meat, meat love serving, also salad, rolls and mashed potatoes. And it's just really something that a lot of these people don't get to do every single day, whether they're staying in shelters, out on the streets, or they're living paycheck to paycheck. They really struggle to find enough to eat. I don't care what it is because I'm tired of eating peanut butter and coffee. I get $16 in food stamps and it's like not enough just for to get a nice meal just to cook. The Salvation Army and local businesses are inviting the homeless and anyone else who needs a hot meal to attend this year's Feed the Hungry Feast. Last year, more than 1,000 men, women, and children were served food, and this year, volunteers are expecting to see about the same number of people, if not more. It's important to make these people feel like they're special, because no matter what hardships they're going through right now, it's nice to know that someone cares. Especially the homeless uh, get shunned and cast aside throughout every day and uh, feel undervalued, feel worthless and hopeless. And what we do tonight is try to treat them as honored guests. That's yeah, really a great event to help out everyone in our community. It is going to be going on for the next half hour and then at seven o'clock here at a downtown Reno event center. Covering the story, Amanda Ketchledge, Channel 2 News. Good to see